now that we have the rifle garrison unlocked, we can start upgrading bunker pieces into rifle garrison. So with our hammer out, we press F to go into upgrade mode. We aim at one of the bunker pieces, in this case, a tier one bunker piece. If we press E and go into our upgrade menu, we can see that the second option is a rifle garrison. If we hover over the rifle garrison, we can see that we see a green circle around the rifle garrison. This green circle indicates the alignment line of sight and the line of fire. So we can see that around these trees that the line of sight and line of fire are actually obstructed by the trees, which means that the AI and consequently everybody sitting inside the rifle garrison as well are not going to be able to hit anybody that is straight behind this tree or straight behind this tree. Now, as normal, to make sure that we get the rifle garrison, we just click the rifle garrison, walk up to the blueprint and start hammering BMATs. We can see that the rifle garrison is an upgrade that actually comes on top of the bunker, which means that in order to actually access the rifle garrison, we will have to make a doorway because the only way to access rifle garrisons later on is from the inside of the bunker piece where the rifle garrison is placed. So as we can see, there is no way to actually enter our rifle garrison. It only says press E to upgrade it. What we can do, however, is aim at our rifle garrison, press E to go into upgrade mode and select the doorway. We have the doorway. We can walk through the trench into the bunker piece. And once we are in the bunker piece, we can see that it says press Q to enter rifle garrison. And if we press Q, we can see that we are inside the rifle garrison and we can shoot out. Now, in order to get out, we press Q again and we equip our hammer. And if we want to enable people inside this bunker to shoot out, even if they are not inside the rifle garrison, we can always go into our upgrade mode of our hammer. So with our hammer out, we press F to go into upgrade mode. We walk outside and aim back in. We press E to go into the upgrade menu. We can see there are firing ports. And as with every other modification, if we use the scroll wheel, we can place it on different sides. Now we don't want to place it here because that will block our doorway, but we might want to place it to this side, because that is also the side we have the barbed wire already. So for 20 basic materials, let's build ourselves a firing port. So right now, the options to shoot around is inside the rifle garrison and having your weapon and you have a 360 firing arc. And if you hop out and you are below, you only have this firing port for now. Now we can also upgrade tier two bunker pieces to, in this case, tier two rifle garrison. So if we press F to go into upgrade mode and we press E to open the upgrade menu and we try to make this bunker piece next to the bunker base into a rifle garrison and we click on it, it will say must not be adjacent to other bunker upgrades, which means we can't place it here. We can't place it here and we can't place it here, but we can, however, place it here. So if we aim at this bunker piece, we press E, we select the rifle garrison and we walk up to the blueprint. We can hammer in basic materials. Just as with the tier one rifle garrison, the tier two rifle garrison is also not accessible from the outside. The only way to actually get in is from within inside the bunker. Now, if you don't remember where you put your rifle garrison, if you are inside a bunker base, you can hold down the left control key by default, and that will show the roofs. And we can see that we need to go one bunker base over. So if we let go of the left control 
button, we see the inside of the bunker again. We come to the one that has the rifle garrison and we can see that in the bottom left, it says press Q to enter rifle garrison. And as we can see, we can go in. Another category of unlocks is under the command tree. And if we see the observation bunker is the first upgrade that is available. And for that, we need a six command modifications. Now command modifications are different modifications than the garrison infrastructure modifications. So with our hammer out, we press F to go into upgrade mode, we aim at this bunker piece here. And if we press E to go into the upgrade menu, we can see that this has a different icon in the top left than these modifications. And these icons in the top left correspond to the two different trees of upgrades in the base. So if we open the bunker base, we can see we have that puppet icon and the chevron icon and the chevron icon is what we need for command infrastructure and we need six of those to get observation bunkers because we already have the rifle garrison unlocked we can remove the garrison modifications that unlocked it because as soon as rifle garrisons are unlocked they will stay unlocked if we want the machine gun garrisons the at gun garrisons and the howitzer garrisons. However, we need to bring back those modifications to fulfill the requirements of those. So we can just go to this bunker piece, press E, and no matter which modification we select, if we right click, it will take away the modification that was already there. And now we press E to upgrade again, and we select one of the command structure modifications, the one with the chevron, and we click on that and put that in place. We need six of those, so let's make sure we have six of those. Now that we changed the garrison infrastructure modifications to command infrastructure modifications, we can see that we can start voting for observation bunkers. And we can see that we only have one out of four required garrison modifications for the rifle garrison, but it's still unlocked. So let's change our vote to observation bunkers and to make sure that we actually still have our options here. We go to the outside, we press F to go into upgrade mode. We aim at one of the bunker pieces, press E to go into upgrade mode, and we can see that we can still make rifle garrisons. They are still available. Once we have the observation bunkers unlocked, we can see that if we hover over the observation bunker, that an observation bunker actually needs a thousand power. It's written in green there. So in order to get that power, we need a engine room and we need pipes to get the power from the engine room to whatever is going to be our observation bunker. So in order to make a engine room, just have the engine room selected here. We can change the orientation as usual by just using the scroll wheel. And if we now click, we can see that we have an engine room here. We walk up to the blueprint and start hammering B maps. Now that the generator room is ready, we should make sure that we have piping going towards the bunker we intend to use as the observation bunker. So in order to do that, we are going to aim at our engine room. We press E to go into the upgrade menu. We need pipes here to get the power from the generators into the pipe system. So we place pipes here. If we check our rifle garrison upgrades, we can see that it says it requires 600 powers. 
That is not correct. It doesn't require it. What it means is that if we supply 600 power to rifle garrisons, they will be having a slightly longer view distance at night to get that power to our rifle garrisons. Let's make sure that our pipe systems are going through here and over there and going from our engine room to the rifle garrison over there. So we press F to go into upgrade mode. We aim at the trench here. We make sure that we have pipes. If we aim at the bunker piece that actually has the rifle garrison, we can see that pipes are installed, but we are getting zero out of 600 watts. That is because our engine room isn't functional as of now because the generators need diesel. So let's make we put some diesel in. Make sure we have diesel into our third slot. Equip it by pressing three, walk up to our engine room, aim at it, and then hold down left mouse button to refuel the generator. Now that the engines are refueled, if we equip our hammer and go into upgrade mode, we can see that our pipe system is green now, which means that the power is actually being transported from our engine room all the way through our pipe system to our bunker pieces that need the power so if we look here we can see that 1500 watts is being supplied to this rifle garrison and 1500 watts is delivered to that that number stems from the fact that a power network will divide the available power over the connected structure so in this case the available power is 3000 watt. There is two connected structures. So 3000 watts divided by two is 1500 watts. If we select the roofs, we can see that both the rifle garrisons are powered now because there is a light on the roof that is actually on. Now that we unlocked observation bunkers, let's go and build ourselves an observation bunker. So we said we would build an observation bunker here. So with the hammer out, press F to go into upgrade mode, E to go into the upgrade menu, and we select the observation bunker and we can see that it needs 125 BMATs. So let's place the blueprint and hammer in some BMATs. Now that our observation bunker is built, we can see that it took some time for the pipe network to get enough power to our observation bunker. But as we can see, we have 1500 watts where we need a thousand. So our observation bunker should be up and running. Now, if we open the base and close the base, we can see that our map intelligence has been updated. And if we open the map, we can see that we have a circle around our bunker base indicating that our observation bunker is actually doing its work. With the small garrison researched, we can now start to upgrade our bunker base to a tier two bunker base. For that, we need CV filled with BMATs. We hop in, make sure we are in the operator seat. We aim at the bunker base itself. We press E to upgrade it and we select the bunker base, bunker base tier two. And we can see we need 100 basic materials to upgrade it. So we have 100 basic materials. We click, we get the blueprint, right click to aim our construction arm and left click to start hammer limits. Also with researching the small garrison, this bunker base will have permanent AI which means that these rifle garrisons will always shoot at enemies once they are inside. 
Now that we have the small garrison unlocked, we can start preventing decay on our bunker pieces and trench pieces with bunker supplies. So if we use bunker supplies, it will prevent decay on all the trenches and bunker pieces, and it will not prevent decay on things like pillboxes and barbed wire and sandbags. With the bunker supplies in our truck, which is right click on them and say submit to stockpile and we say we want to submit three crates when we did that we can see that the bunker supply status icon went from off to on indicating that right now with the 450 bunker supplies that are in the stockpile our bunker base is preventing decay the rate at which the base consumes bunker supplies is outlined in the tooltip over here. It will consume two bunker supplies per structure per hour once the DK has begun. DK sets in after 24 hours. If we look at the garrison supply status, we can see that it consumes 26 garrison supplies per hour. That is because if a base has both bunker and garrison supplies, the garrison supplies will always take precedent and will be used up first for the simple reason that they prevent decay on things like tank traps and sandbags as well as prevent decay on bunkers and trenches.